What's the deal, y'all? We're Trapper Tapping in TNN Trap News Network. We back with another reaction video, man. We back to react. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Become a part of this rich Trapper Mafia. Hit that subscribe button. Become a part of this rich Trapper Mafia. Let me straighten this thing out. I think it looks a little bit better like this. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Become a part of this rich Trapper Mafia. Don't hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all. Stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on. Find me on Instagram, Trap News Network. T R A P N E W S N E T W O R. X Trap News Network. Um, find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper, Gang Six. Rich Trapper, worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. My two singles, Start from Scratch and The Nightmare Before Christmas, are both out now. And we are giving away $50 to the best comment of the month of January on February 1st. We will be giving away $50. Um, when we reach 4,000 subscribers, we're going to give away another $50. And every thousand subscribers going forward, we're going to give away 50 bucks. Every month, we're going to give away 50 bucks to the best comment. Um, if you want to win the fifty dollars for, for if you want to win the fifty dollars for the thousand subscribers, that's to the co top commenter. Whoever has the most comments, we gonna make sure we look out for you. Um, with that all being said, though, <clears throat> we got cartoon reaction. His stepson Jeff Five being on a fifty fifty prison yard. For those y'all who don't know, cartoon is an OG from Avalon. Jeff Five is from Hoover, um, and that's his stepdad. So that's interesting. But let's keep going though. Without no further ado, or don't you gonna slide into this content? Three, two, one. Let's go. Be about two, three weeks late on this. And I've been watching a lot of cartoons videos. So I want to give a big shout out to Cartoon. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and show them some love too, man. Show Cartoon the same love y'all show me. Uh, And the only reason why I'm, I'm really responding to it now is because, as usual, people send me stuff. You know what I'm saying? They get at me. They send me footage of stuff and this, this, and that. But now, I will admit uh, in the last few days, it was a couple of dudes. No, no, I, no, about a week ago, no, about two weeks ago. Yeah, about two weeks ago, it was some dudes jumped in my um, in my in my in my comments, and said, "Toon, how you feel about your stepson, Jap Five, being on a a fifty fifty yard?" Um. This had been asked to me a couple of times, matter of fact, a few times a while back, you know what I'm saying, a few weeks ago. Um, I didn't respond to it. First off, I don't know or didn't know what a 50-50 yard was. I didn't know what a S and Y yard was. Um a 180, 280, whatever all whatever this new up-to-date uh stuff is that they call that they got in a California prison. Remember, I have not been to a California prison since 1996. Shout out to him, bro. Since 1996, that's 96, 06, 16, 15, it's almost 30 years. Shout out to bro. So all, all this new stuff they got going on, I don't know nothing about it. I don't know how it works. I don't know how it's chopped up, divvied up. I don't know. Um, But now what I did do We'll start doing a little, you know, research, homework, checking out some stuff and calling in, you know what I'm saying? Calling into the prison to some homies and asking, you know, cuz, what's this? What's that? What's that? What's this? You know what I'm saying? So I could get the uh, 411 on a lot of this stuff that people were saying because I was, I was, uh, I was, I was, I was tripping because the way people was coming at me with this, uh, how do I feel about uh, Jeff Five being on on a fifty fifty yard. I said, well, you know, let me find out what the heck is a fifty fifty yard. You know what I'm saying? At the prison right now that uh that that Jeff Five is in, they they call it a prison land. So I guess Jeff Five is in his new jail. They call it a prison land. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I think that it's a newer jail and it's designed for people to have like programs and situations like that. So when they come home, they can be better. Uh, members of society, more effective members of society, and actually keep them from ending up back into somebody's penitentiary. Um, someone said that though. Um, a lot of people gonna say they saw it for they scared and blah blah blah, but I guarantee it ain't no person that's sitting within the California Department of Correction. The California the words are hard. The California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation that wouldn't take an opportunity to be on that yard and take an opportunity to come home. So, I don't think that it's necessarily for snitches. Um, not prisons for snitches or nothing like that. I think from my understanding, I could be wrong, but to my understanding, it's a prison specifically for people who just based like a work camp, you feel me? Vocational school. 
Uh, it didn't even exist when I was in, <laughs> when I was in the system. You know what I'm saying? I never heard of it. wasn't around. Um, then I think I think it popped up. It be, it was a um, woman's prison. I think. I think. Um, yeah. God got some homegirls that was in there, or, or either it was across the street or something like that. Whatever. And then now they got it where the dudes are in it. You know. So anyway. Uh. 50 50 yard. Um, some of the stuff they ask. So once I started asking and inquiring about what's going on, it's it, it kind of seemed it seemed to me that they were incorporating the politics that the Mexicans have with blacks. You know what I'm saying? Um it looked to me, I mean, from what I it, I, I'm, I could be wrong, but it don't to me, I don't think of uh, from what I see and what, what people telling me that are locked up, blacks. Um, a 50-50 yard does not have no bearing on black politics in prison, for one. Yeah, so the way it was understood to me is black people can do what they want to do. Mexicans say they can or they can't, blah, 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 but, you know, Mexicans run a whole different program. As far as the blacks concerned, they can do what they want to do. Now, Mexicans and whites, if they go to the 50-50 yard, uh, I think that they're supposed to take off on somebody, uh, do what they got to do to get sent to the hole, to get sent off the yard. I think they got like 42 to 72 hours to do that. But as far as blacks, if they want to kick it, they can do what they want to do. But Mexicans and whites say, like, we don't want to function around certain people and all that kind of stuff. So basically, they worried about how other people do their time, whereas the blacks is only worried about how the blacks do their time. You know what I'm saying? For one, uh, that's what it seemed like. So uh, if a person pops up and asks me, how do I feel about Jeff Five being on the yard, on a 50-50 yard, from from only thing I can equate that to is some clowns you know what I'm saying? Just like the uh want to want want to ask me some stupid stuff for some reason I don't know uh to take a jug at Jap or to take a jug at me or whatever. I don't know. Cause but now one thing I do know, uh whatever yard he's on, whatever yard he's on, what difference do it make? Ain't nothing scary about him. He ain't no buster. He ain't no mark. And half the people that's asking me this, or half or or half the people that's even commenting on it, can't even stand in front of him on no level, period. You know what I'm saying? So what they talking about through this goddamn uh camera and internet about Jeff Five. They can't even they can't even stand in front of Jeff Five on no level. So what? Now they want to wait till he get locked up? And then and then comment on him or whatever. Try to take shots from a long distance. They uh, they want to hit a three point from a long distance. I like a little pullback. He did uh, blocked because I'm blocking it straight up. You know, I can respect his loyalty to his stepson for sure. That's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? And whether he's a stepfather or he's a biological father, I respect the father for sure. For but sure. anyway, um, moving right along. Now here it comes out. Uh, today, just today, today is, today is, uh, January 13th. Today is January 13th, 2024. Somebody. So today is January 14th, 2024. So we had that, uh, sent me some about what is a prison land, prison land or prison Disneyland or or prison land or something like that. They like, man, Tune, check this out. I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay. They had a uh they had a picture of of uh Jeff Five in the classroom. Now he now he now he's taking up a lot of trades. He's doing a lot of positive stuff in there because when I talk to him, he always let me know what he got going on. You feel me? So um I'm like, okay, well, what's up with this? Oh, they well, they trying to say that uh he's in a soft prison. Okay. But here's the thing though. Like, people like, oh, he's in a soft prison, that prison ain't blah blah. It's prison, bro. Like, why would you first of all, you're already in prison. Why would you want to be like if you could not be in a bad prison? Why would you not want to be in a bad prison? But is there a such thing as a good prison? Like, I don't think there's a such thing as a good prison, number one. So that's stupid for anybody to be like, oh, well, he's in a bad prison, he's a soft prison, blah, blah, blah. You in jail, bro. 
Like, how much more miserable do you want me to be? Why, if I, Now, if I'm going to be in jail, why wouldn't I want to be in the best jail possible with the most amenities? You feel me? For those of y'all who don't know what amenities is, I mean, it's shit going on. You feel me? Positively speaking. But that's stupid. Like, like it's jealousy. I promise you, nobody who nobody who's saying, oh, you want to solve prison, you want to solve prison, blah, 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 would change that opportunity for a chance to go home. I promise you they wouldn't. It's only people who can't get there who have a problem with it. He's in a soft prison. So what? What it got to do with him? He ain't soft by no shape, form, or fashion. That's a title can't nobody put on him. That's something can't nobody say about it. I don't give a god dang what prison he in. I bet they got in that same pr prison land, whatever that is. You got some cats in that same prison will slap the spit. I you got cats in that same prison that'll stab you to up and get you up off this planet out a person's mouth that's out here in, in in the streets or that may be in other prisons that got something to say about people being in that prison you know for one the prison system of today is not the prison system i was in you feel what i'm saying most mo you know dudes go up in there they really 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 trying to get out um um you know when i went in Going home was not was not to be thought about, you know what I'm saying? Because we had to deal with a whole truckload full of opposition and and enemies and stuff behind them walls. So you had to do what you had to do. And if you made it home, cool. If you didn't, oh well. Prison of today is not like that. Prison of today is a place where once you go in, you need to be scratching and fighting like a hound dog to get up out of there. It's a whole bunch of dudes that's sitting in California CDC right now wish they was in prison land or prison Disneyland or whatever and had action at taking some uh, college courses, taking some classes and doing something so they can bring their stupid butts back up out that prison, back to the streets so they can take care of their family, be with their family. Now, that makes the most sense. If you are in here for a punishment because you made a mistake in life and obviously you couldn't do something to walk the streets of society, why wouldn't you take that a chance as an opportunity to walk, uh, to do things that would make you able to walk the streets of society once again? Why wouldn't you take that chance to grow, be better? You are sat down, big dog. I don't know if anybody's ever been sat down before, but you are sat down. You ain't got nothing going. You ain't got nothing going but grass growing. You feel me? You ain't got nothing going but watching grass growing. You feel me? So with that being said, why wouldn't you want to take that as an opportunity to make yourself better to get, you know, get your shit together? I don't, I don't understand why anybody would be like, oh, like, no, my nigga, this is what this shit is for. You are supposed to be making your life the absolute best that you can, big dog. Take care of their family. Be a productive citizen in life instead of sitting in there looking retarded. So now for a person to criticize or ridicule now, this ain't, this ain't just all on Jap 5. This is on all the people that may be in that camp, in that prison, doing what they're doing. But for somebody to criticize them or, or downplay them because they in there, man, y'all, man, you stupid and retarded. Because if they was to catch a case and go to prison right now, they would want to be there. They would want the best chance. Basically, basically. And the best opportunity they could get to come home and get up out of there. Simple as that. So if a person on the street uh, running their lips, brrrr, they just doing, they talking. They clout chasing, talking for the camera or whatever they doing. Because if they was in there, they would be doing whatever they had to do, being a good little boy like they probably did when they was in prison, if they ever been to prison and trying to come home. So yeah, and it don't make no sense to do anything outside of that because if you got a release date, meaning you got some chances of coming back to the streets, why would you do anything to fuck that up? Like, why wouldn't you want to come home? Let me give this message to all the young dudes watching. If any young dudes is watching this, any old dudes watching this, any street niggas watching this, and blah blah blah. If you went to jail, you lost, big dog. Good criminals never make it to jail. If you went to jail, you lost. Only losers go to jail. The winner never ends up in handcuffs. So with that being said, man, if you got an opportunity to not even end up in that situation and be preventative, not reactive, of course you want to be preventative and not reactive and not end up in that situation. But if you're watching this or somebody's jail cell and you got a release date, man, don't make your time harder. You take you with you everywhere you go. Let me say that to you one more time. You take you with you everywhere you go. One more time. 
You take you with you everywhere you go. Don't be your own worst enemy, big dog. It, it, everything is what you make it. You know what I'm saying? I commend, I commend Jap 5 and I pat him on the back. Man, look, son, go up in there. Do what you're supposed to do. Get get whatever get whatever education that them white folks trying to give you. Mm -hmm. Um, get whatever trade that them white folks trying to give you. Get get whatever you can get out of life. I mean, out that prison, so that when you come back to the streets, you can live your life as a productive citizen and not have to worry about going back there no more. You know what I'm saying? Get whatever tools that they giving y'all for free almost. So that you can, you know what I'm saying, you can make you can make it a better place out here in this in society for yourself. And man, listen, for those who who, who you keep asking me, what do I think about um Jap 5 being in a a 50-50, a whatever that, whatever the 50-50 is, being in that type camp, and you ask me what I think about it, I love it. I love it. Yeah, come home, son. That's what you do. Whoever want to stay in there and try to live up to somebody else's expectations, leave them in there. That's real. Do what you got to do to hit the streets, bro. Cool. You, though, come home. Come on home. You got a lot of family, friends, and loved ones out here on the streets who love you and care something about you. Bump with a clown on the internet talking about uh, uh, sitting, uh, sitting on on a rap song or whatever, man, bump them, cause the same, like I say before, the same one. That's real. Sound like he got a lot to come home to. He got things to come. He got things to come home to that the dudes like, oh, you do. That's cause I ain't got nothing. You feel me? If you got a family that love you and look like, bro, got a great support system, I pray that Jeff Five get out of jail. Watching cartoon as a father, and you know they might be from the other side and all that. And not, that, that it is what it is, man. Well, speaking as a man, you know what I'm saying, black man. You can see the sincerity in his face as far as dealing with his um his stepson. You can see the sincerity in his face as far as him being the head of the household and the family and wanting that, wanting that young man to come home and all that. Man, I pray Jack Five make it out and don't end up in no flu flammery to end up back in there because you clearly got a support system of people who care about you. And that's a beautiful thing. Once doing this, they can't whoop him. The same ones doing this don't want to see him in the streets with that gun plate. The same ones doing this Jap Five will take they hoe from them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's probably what they mad about. <laughs> My boy probably took they brawl from them. <laughs> you know? So anyway, man, um, now that I got that out the way, you know what I'm saying? I kept, I kept wondering. You people kept sending me stuff. I usually would ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. But okay, cool. Um, you got you got the reaction from the overlord himself, me. You y'all got the reaction. There it is, man. Man, free Jap 5, man. Straight up. Peace. I'm out. We up out of here to the next one, man. But before y'all slide, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Become a part of this rich trapper mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all. Say tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on. If you ain't found me on Instagram, find me on Instagram. Trap News Network. T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R. X, find me on all streaming sites, Rich Trapper, Game 6. Rich Trapper, worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. My two singles, Start From Scratch and A Nightmare Before Christmas, are both out now. If you ain't did that, do that. And remember, best comment for the month of January, will receive a $50 cash app. After we get to 4000 the top comment, the top commenter will receive another $50 cash app. So you got, <clears throat> excuse me, two chances to win that $50 real quick. Make sure you tap in for that. Um, if you ain't found me, our friend stream plan, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Hey, real quick, before I slide up out of here, man, black dads, be black dads, man. As we on this topic real quick, I think that it's a great thing to watch cartoons stand up for Jack 5. I think it's a great thing to watch cartoon, you know, lead his family and show that he that he got love and support for his stepson and overall being a man and showing that he is still somebody who's able to lead, somebody who's able to um, give advice, somebody who's able to counsel, somebody who's able to basically still, because I'll say this as a dad. You never stop raising your kids. So no matter how old Jack 5 is, Cartoon is still doing a great job of raising him into being a great man and all that kind of stuff. So I want to give a lot of love and a lot of support to Cartoon for that, man. That's a big salute. Um, Cartoon, if you ever see this video, bro, just know that's a lot of respect for, here, respect for you over here at TNN Trap News Network. All politics aside, man, I'll see you as a, I'll see you as a dad. That's a great thing.
You know what I'm saying? And today is my kid's birthday, so maybe I'm feeling a little bit, you know what I'm saying, extra dad like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be having my single dad thing cracking all the time. But without no further ado, is our dumps, man. We finna slide up out of here. Like I always say before we get up out of here, though, free Avenue Angel until he's free. Go to my Instagram, look up Avenue Angel. You can see him right there. Make sure you show him some love and comments and all that kind of stuff on his Instagram page, follow up and all that. But we go on to the next one, though. We gone.